how's it going guys it's going off grid and today we're going to take a make a full fully built reliable base system we got the 60 amp mppt reliables charge controller and we got reliable split phase 3000 watt high frequency inverter which can surge if you go from the 240 uh it'll surge well over 4000 watts which is awesome and that gives you a few seconds not just uh a few milliseconds so we're gonna try this thing out I've never tried this out before I'm gonna give this a good workout and what we're doing today is we're making a little power box with some batteries in it we're gonna go 14s we're gonna try and do 2p uh, 14s so two of these cells in parallel but 14 of them and that should give us a good battery bank and uh, let's we'll see if we can Managed to shove everything in this little box. This is my box that I took apart. This used to have the the power jack in it, but it, that thing was next to useless. That little inverter. So we're upgrading to a much larger system. This should be able to accept well over 3,000 watts for charging and discharging. So this should blow everything out of the water that's on the market. Plus it has 240 volt compatibility. I'm gonna see if this will charge my electric car at 240 volts, which takes 3,500 watts. Even though it says 3,000, we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so I got all the batteries of the packaging. They're in single cell form now. This is my orientation I'm gonna go with down here. So that's 14 cells. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. I'm gonna put like a, plastic barrier in between and uh, first I get to wire all the balance wires and the main positive negative then I can put go on top and do it again okay so we got half the cells in so that's uh, 14s single P and this is another 14s single P here that I'll be hooking up to make a 2p uh, 14s battery this is just glue nothing no lithium or anything like that anyways we're getting there Okay, so I got the BMS wires on the first layer of batteries done. Just got to do uh, a couple of connections here. And I got to put a couple uh, main positive, main negative coming off of that post there, that post there. That's my main positive negative. And then I'm going to mirror this again. Same thing, but do it on top. And then the charge controller will fit in between here. I don't think I can fit... I can fit the inverter inside unfortunately it'll have to go on top it will not be a waterproof setup unfortunately but it is what it is um, I'm probably gonna remove this and this take that off clean up the top clean up this box make it look all nice got my wood marked going in between the cells that's gonna go in here just to make it sure that uh, this bank and the top bank can't touch each other um, I'm going to put uh, my charge controller in here, then I'm going to buy 14S uh, charging uh, grid power or generator powering system. Okay, so I got my basin. It's nice and tight. It doesn't move at all. Now, could, does anybody notice the mistake I almost made in the last clip? And it's when I was hooking up batteries. Let's see if you can point it, point it out. Okay, so we got the double stack of batteries in here. Fills this thing up pretty good. If I get a lower profile inverter, I might be able to fit one in here. We will see. Maybe I'll do a, a dual inverter setup. One inside, smaller, and the one that I can plug in on the outside as a bigger version. But uh, we definitely can get the charge controller in here. Even a thinner inverter will fit in here. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll just put some more batteries in here. I'm not sure. I got to do the math on how much this should be. I believe it's close to five kilowatt hours, but we'll see. I got to, uh, like I said, do the math. I just got to go drill these two posts out because these bars are too long. These are really nice copper bars. They bend like like butter. They got to be pure copper. Like I can just bend it with my finger. See? I'll bend it back. There you go. Anyways. They bend like nothing. When I tighten that down, they'll bend back straight. Anyways, this uh, is working out quite nicely for a 2P... Uh, 14s uh, system got my lower bms wires here my main positive and my main uh, negative here and uh, we're gonna tie it into here and hook up an inverter and a charge controller 
Okay, got the top half all wired into the BMS connector. We're just uh, finishing off. We got the bottom uh, balance wires going in as well. As you can see, you got two wires going in. These these cells have a really nice um, threaded portion just for the balance wires. It's really nice dealing with these cells. It's really easy. I believe this was out of a, either Mishibishi. So I think Mishibishi uses these cells. I think Toyota used these cells for a while and whatnot. And you guys know I love my spray foam to fill in the gaps and stuff in here. I'll just cut that up a little bit later. Make it look nice. I'll probably put something flat over top of this again to hide all this. Put our charge controller in there. Gotta put a fan so we can breathe. And yeah, it's coming along. Okay, all the balance wires are done. Now for some wire management and we can plug that into the BMS. I just gotta double check. I'm gonna test all the leads starting from black here with my negative. And then I'm gonna work my way over each pin at a time. Make sure we jump by 3.6 volts because that's what the cells are sitting at until we get all the way up to, I believe we're sitting at 50 volts right now, which is fairly depleted for this battery. Full charge is 58.4 volts. Um, I'm probably only gonna charge it to 58. And then discharge it to around 48 volts, something around there. And yeah, that's a double stacked battery right there. I bet you this thing's heavy. Good thing it's got wheels. No actual bearings though. Don't want to be dragging this far. Anyways, let's keep going. It's getting late. I've been working on this all day. Okay, so this is the finished product, or more or less finished product. I still got to do some mounting and stuff on the inside, but the unit works. We're sitting more or less fully charged, 57.3. Full full charge on this uh, battery is 58.4, I believe, at 4.2 volts a cell. Really like this feature. Actually, I didn't use this feature at first. I just hooked it up and tried turning the BMS on, but there's the capacitors in here are so big that it kept tripping the 150 amp BMS, and it actually wouldn't start the inverter. So I had to disconnect this hook turn my BMS on, hook it up to the resistor, and then move it over, and then everything worked fine. Now, my only problem I'm having right now is I gotta make this uh, cable longer or get a new one, because this one, it doesn't allow me to open the lid all the way. I actually have to disconnect it. So I can't really show you much inside. I can show you a little bit. We're all just getting over colds and stuff, so we're all coughing. That's about as far as I can open it. There we have the BMS. We got the charge controller here. I gotta put a fan on both sides, so I won't be using the charge controller until I get the fan mounted. But uh, yeah, this should charge my electric car quite well. It uh, took a long time to charge this thing, so it's got quite a bit of capacity to it. We're gonna have to give it a try. <laughs> 